Today we are going to make cabbage steaks. I don't know if you ever tried cabbage steaks before, but a few weeks ago I tried it and believe me, it didn't last long in the household. So I wanted to show you this recipe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. So without further ado, let's jump right into this recipe. So I have a large head of cabbage. I'm going to rinse before we get started with the video. So give me one second to rinse it. Now what we want to do is remove your outer pieces of the cabbage, the outer layer. We wanna get down to the white part, ladies and gentlemen. Now feel free to serve this with any meat that you like, or you can just eat it as it is, ladies and gentlemen. I have some leftover turkey from the other day. Turkey wings, so I'm gonna eat that with this. And I'll leave that recipe for the turkey wings up in the corner so you can make that recipe as well. And we want to cut just this part, not the entire part as if we're ready to fry it so let me show you just enough to make it flat. And if it lays flat, you have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going with a larger head of cabbage. So what I'm going to do first is cut off the ends. Because I want the steak to lay flat. And don't worry, I'm gonna use that cabbage for another recipe, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now we want to cut it about three quarters, maybe to an inch, about like that. You don't want them super large, okay? And we should be able to get one more piece or I should say slice. <laughs> now, we want these to look beautiful, right? When we lay them on our baking tray. So what I'm going to do is remove these outer pieces so they can look pretty when we're ready to bake it. So we have our pieces here. We got the outer parts removed. So let me get a baking tray. I'm gonna set this aside for a second. I have a stick of butter and to the microwave. I like to use parchment papers, ladies and gentlemen. Easy cleanup. There we are. Now let us get some spray. I'm coming back with a butter flavor, y'all. Okay, you want to use olive oil? You may do that. And let's place our cabbage steaks right on top of here. And what I'm going to add in here, it's really up to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to start off with some garlic. You can use whatever garlic you like. I'm just gonna use this garlic out the tube. And you could eyeball it, ladies and gentlemen. There's no right or wrong way to season your cabbage. I like this uh, roasted garlic and herb I'm gonna use as well. Of course, we have to have our black pepper. Season it to your liking, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's give that a stir. 
Oh, there's one more thing I want to use. Hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. Got to use some paprika for our color. Yes, indeedy. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. That should be enough. Don't ask me why I turned it that way. I don't know. <laughs> Let's give that a whisk. Blend that in very well. Now, again, if you want to use olive oil, canola oil, whatever oils you want to use instead of butter, you may do that, ladies and gentlemen. It's really your recipe. Let's grab a brush, and we're just going to brush our seasonings directly on top of this, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be delicious. I like cabbage. You know, it's good for you. It's healthy. It doesn't take long to cook. And I'm scooping the bottom to get all of the seasonings because you know the oil is very heavy. So I want to make sure I get the seasonings on top of this before I add all the butter. Brush that on very nicely. It's going to give it a nice color, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm just going back over it with our butter that is remaining in the dish. As you see, I have most of the seasonings out of there. Now, go ahead and preset your oven to 350 degrees. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, I may do 30 minutes, 35 minutes, but stick with me because we have to add some more toppings and I don't want you to miss out, okay? We have this bucket here, dish, that has the remaining of our cabbage. So do not throw away the rest of your cabbage. You can use that cabbage, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what I normally would do is flip them, but to me, it doesn't matter whether we flip them or not. I'm gonna add some kosher salt to the top. Just a little bit. I'm gonna add in some crushed red peppers. This is optional, ladies and gentlemen. You can add bacon on top of here if you want. Can chop up some sausage if you like. And then we would need our cheese. I'm gonna use a little Parmesan cheese with a little uh, pizza blend because it has mozzarella cheese in it. Sprinkle our Parmesan cheese on those. Yes, 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 yes. Mm, 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 mm. This is a winner, y'all. I'm telling you, you must make this recipe this week, okay? Come back with some mozzarella cheese or the pizza blend on top. Or you may use any cheese that you like. We are going to place this back into the oven. Ooh, yes, Jesus. Y'all try this recipe this week. Cabbage is very inexpensive, ladies and gentlemen. You can make this any day of the week, okay? I promise you, your family is going to enjoy it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family. Share, 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 share. We're almost to our next milestone. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to leave them at the bottom. I will respond. Let's plate this up and get us a piece of this cabbage steak, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Oh, yes. It is so cheesy, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that cabbage steak. Does that not look gorgeous? Mm, 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 mm. Let me grab a fork for us. Oh yes, look at that y'all. See that? Now I'm gonna grab a knife. Cause it is called steak, right? And with steaks, we normally use a knife. So let's cut into this. Oh, 
the flavors, y'all. You get a bite? You get a bite? Mm, 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 mm. Y'all must try this recipe. I'm telling you, it is delicious. I'd like to thank you for watching the video. God bless you. Y'all have a beautiful day. And I will see you again on the next video.